here. And this goes on every day. This is not one time. Um, mentioned staff, how important they are. Another big part of what we do is, is the results, the impact, our alumni. Um, so this kind of next piece kind of combines uh, both of those because Ebony Grove was a club member and uh, we've asked her to come share her story full circle. Now she's back giving back to the club. So Ebony, come tell you. and supporters of the Boys and Girls Club of the PDM. My name is Ebony Brown, and I'm the unit director here at the Jack Community. My mom worked several jobs to support our single parent household. At the age of eight, I became a member of the Greenberry Boys and Girls Club. I'm excited to say I'm still a part of the Boys and Girls Club family. My mom trusted the Boys and Girls Club to keep me safe and busy while she was at work to take care of my family. When I first joined the Boys and Girls Club, I was shy and scared because I didn't know anyone at the Boys and Girls Club. On my first day, I was welcomed with open arms by the unit director, Mr. Harold Alexander. <laughs> I didn't want to stay, so he promised me and my mom that I would make new friends and have fun at the club. By lunchtime, I made five new friends and had more fun than I even imagined. For the first time in my life as a child, Right then and there, I could trust an adult and learn not to fear the unexpected. Once I got familiar with the club, I didn't want to leave. I was always the first one to arrive and the last one to leave. As a member of the Boys and Girls Club, I was named Greenberry Youth of the Year my junior and senior year of high school. I was Keystone president and was in every club that was offered for my age group. My entire experience at the Boys and Girls Club has taught me the importance of education, and it's helped me develop into a positive young lady. The staff of the Boys and Girls Club were my mentors who helped me make short and long-term goals and taught me decision-making steps to help me achieve these goals. I graduated from Northside High School in 2005 and UL Lafayette in 2010 with a Bachelor's degree in Special Education. I've been employed by the Boys and Girls Club through my college career up until now. I've had numerous positions here at the Boys and Girls Club. Through my hard work and diligence, I now hold a position as a unit director. One of my greater accomplishments on the job was being named 2010 Outstanding Full-Time Staff of South Louis Southwestern Louisiana Region, acknowledging my hard work and dedication here at the Boys and Girls Club. Today I stand before all of you and proudly proclaim my life accomplishments and achievements so far, but keeping in mind that this is just the beginning of an amazing journey, that has started my home away from home, known as the Boys and Girls Club. As I told I would like to thank you, Mr. Harold, my family, and all my mentors for paving the way for me. In addition, I would like to thank you to each and every one of you for your time and thank you for the investment that you are making to provide hope and opportunity for the youth of our community. I'm grateful to be a part of this amazing, amazing organization. Thank you and God. That don't make you want to give a little bit more. I don't know what. <laughs> Another one final piece, um, last but not least, we are a board-driven organization. This is done. Uh, board members are volunteers. Uh, staff, we're paid. But uh, these are community leaders that drive this organization. Again, six clubs, about a $1.2 million budget. It takes that much to do what we do. And as you can see, uh, there's a lot going on. So we're very proud of what we do. That's why we invited you. That's why you're going to see these types of events throughout all six of our clubs throughout 2012. We're serious about what we do, and uh, our donors want to know the impact we're making. You're seeing the impact, and through Ebony, you're seeing the results. That's one story of thousands of young people that boys and girls clubs are, are saving lives. So at this time, uh, the leader, our fearless leader of the our fundraising campaign this year, where we're uh, naming it One Ask, we're going to our supporters once a year. And uh, to tell you a little bit more about that, uh, board member Rich Smith.
hear stories like Ebony's and you know there's hundreds of other ones that uh, their lives are touched by Mr. Brown by these clothes and I'll just be saying thank you Mr. Brown. Um, I'm going to head and uh, read through the speech. I uh, I'll read through the speech. It's very short, so don't worry. Uh, I, I gave it to my assistant. I was running to me and gave it to my assistant. And I asked her, and I said, "Does it bother her? Tell me if this sounded okay." She said, "She said it was." You know, I came back to my desk and I had a little A plus on it. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. <laughs> instead of uh, that hot, not that hot. Um, anyway, it's uh, it's nice to see so many people here for this uh, kickoff. It's great to have so many children here. And, uh, and the staff and all. Uh, before we get started, I just want to uh, uh, pass along a, uh, an old saying that uh, an old uh, famous philosopher um, said many, uh, many years ago. A candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. Um, he, uh, that's a, a lot of what we do in, in, this, in, uh, in the Boys and Girls Club. The idea behind the One Ask campaign is to ask individuals and corporations uh, to make a donation once a year um, and be our partners for the entire year. Um, we will continue to organize our singular events like uh, the famous uh, Running of the Ducks uh, to, uh, to help fund some of our programs uh, for 2012. But this one ask uh, is an opportunity for us to uh, bulk up our funding efforts for this coming year. And we're off to a good start. I'm happy to, uh, to say that we have uh, commitment from our board members for their contributions uh, to donations to Boys and Girls Club this year. So that's great, uh, a great start. Um, now we as board members are going to embark on a campaign to attract more donors uh, to, to our organization, um, donors but also partners for the United for the Boys and Girls Club. Um, so there's a lot of work to do to, to spread the good news, uh, the good word about a great organization. Um, remember, a, a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. Uh, the Boys and Girls Clubs are great, wonderful places, and they're where a great future start. So, thank you very much. And uh, what we're asking you to do is take these and invite other people to events like this at our clubs. Uh, we can't do it by ourselves. Um, everybody in this room, we need more people. We've got a great uh, donor base, but we're just trying to grow that, expand it. So we're asking you for your help. So take these brochures, read over of all the funding opportunities. But again, our goal is to connect our supporters with our mission and what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. That's where we're going to grow our support and, um, and our resources. So we can expand, grow more clubs, serve more kids, and save more lives. That's, that's what we're all about. So the final part, the fun part, we got some check presentations. And um, we'll start it off uh, with Superior and Spencer Colbert. You want to come say a few words? Good evening, everyone. myself. Thank you, Lord, for working together, taking care, looking out for the future, and after all, how are you? So we pride ourselves in cooperating, supporting, and promoting the Boys and Girls Club. So, good stuff, $15,000. That's exactly how our company is 
we, we have an opportunity um, really almost each and every month to partner with Cox, with uh, Boys and Girls Club in some kind of way. Uh, and it's really inspiring to our workforce. We really believe in the mission here, and it's evident when you see these talented uh, young people uh, perform with so much confidence and even being greeted at the door. I mean, what a nice detail. I mean, they, they this is great training for life and for their professions. So uh, we're just honored to be involved. It's part of our heritage and our company. We support Boys and Girls Club nationwide because our founder, uh, James Cox, was he himself an educator. And we know that education happens far beyond the classroom. So thank you all very much, everyone involved, staff and volunteers and board, for all that you do. And I'd love to have some children up here for our centers that you'll see when you take a tour of this club but also at other clubs so uh, way above and beyond that so Julie thank you so much time and, um, and and Rich just like Rich said this kicks it off to the public we have done in-house we've done our board our staff giving um, and we've raised about a little over three hundred thousand dollars before today so good news but uh, today kicks it off and uh, what we're doing is, is asking for your help. So please stick around. Burger Smith's over there. They've got plenty of food and drinks. Walk around, meet the kids, ask them. They'll tell you the, uh, the truth about the club. Um, they'll, they'll tell you. They'll tell you real. That's real right there. <laughs> so, uh, so thanks again for coming, and um, thanks for all your support.